So T minus is a week long project that we host here in the industrial design program at RIT. Students have one week to complete an assigned sponsored project. This means they're working in teams of five, generally one freshman, one sophomore, one junior, one senior, and one grad student. Good, got a package. Did you fill out non-disclosure? I did. Beautiful. I'd like to thank you all for coming and welcome to the 2015 T-minus program. I represent Allegion, I'm the industrial design manager for the company, and we are very proud to sponsor this program this year. You'd think that a doorknob is a doorknob is a doorknob, a door lever is a door lever. How much can you do? All right, now, hold them up. Hold up your packaging managers, it's time for you to assemble your teams. The differences between handles and knobs for like arthritis and stuff. So anything that you can just push rather than grabbing or twisting. Our students pretty quickly are given a series of sessions together with the manufacturer, um, in this case led by Ted. Uh, we call them TED Talks. Uh, are their hands rubbing against other parts? Are there pinch points in here as they're operating these things? So day one, we just completed our first of three LOX 101 training sessions. I uh, had a big crowd for the first, uh, the first training and I think everybody was pretty jazzed. A lot of good questions about how LOX work, what's, how they operate, what they do. Um, we passed some samples around, people got to play with them. I think they're going to be pretty cool with the whole thing. This is again for interior use. I kind of abstracted this for our model. They're saying that they like this one a little bit more because of the way uh, the shape that it is inside and how it comes out. They like okay. that a little bit more. But my only concern about that is like if, like if it's an outdoor one. Sure. Also, when you're putting the key in there, you want to make sure that you get the key angle correct. One thing we were thinking of is to like inset this handle. In past years, we've had sponsors come and kick off the project and then come in at the end to judge it. This year was a bit different in that Ted was in residency for the entire week. We gave him a key to my office and he sort of held court there. This led to a rich dialogue that um, is rare for a designer to have during the process of understanding a problem. And Ted was uh, really generous, having come from our ranks, in, in giving feedback along the way. Which is like industrial design, right? I mean, you're combining the aesthetics and the beauty of it with the function to come up with an overall solution. Right. So all it is is industrial design work. <laughs> Five, or what is it, six? Five, six, I don't even know anymore, man. I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm excited that this is the last thing that I have to do. <laughs> this table behind me started as complete product. We provided product for all the students so they could see how things work, the different functions. By day five, they've reduced the table to rubble. This is what's left. They've taken them apart, they're using ideas in their designs, they understand the locks far better by the use of all the samples that were here at one time. Hopefully tomorrow, when David's done with his CAD work, after that, we'll be able to work on our presentation without like stopping. And hopefully by th Saturday, we'll be able to take a little bit of rest and practice our presentation. So we're uh, 3D printing the uh, moving discs in our mechanism. Um, so we have circular discs that move back and forth when you open the door handle. So this gives us the opportunity to you know, send it to the printer and then we can worry about other aspects. I don't know what day it is actually. I think I've lost count at this point. But I'm printing out my uh, T-minus poster. Drained. 
think I'm seeing things at this point. Locks on walls, floors, ceilings. All right, yeah, do it now. After a week of late nights working with a group that you were put into rather than one that you chose, uh, I think students have developed new relationships. Um, there's an urgency with regard to the timing and the production. And it's a sort of realization that teamwork is the key to any successful project. So it was 151 hours ago that a scene like this took place and it was total chaos and now I see total order. So thanks to every one of you for getting it done. So talk, talk to me a little bit about the colors and... Users that were hard of sight in the front doors. Push down on it, it translates, you can push up the shelves. This is great because if you, if you need to, you can use your fist, you can use your knee. Um, it's always three minutes. Three minutes is how the world works, right? The judges, move along. Judges, please, to the next presentation. Sorry. It's rare as a program chair, program director of such a large size group that you can ever really see all of your students, especially from graduate all the way to freshman, working on any one focused project. So to come into the gallery and to see um, you know, the, the, the shared activity of all those players, all those voices, all those cultures, all those continents uh, coalescing in, in, in a group is, uh, is kind of magical. Okay, ready for the awards? Yeah. Yeah. For me, I think probably um, the most memorable piece is the shared commitment to making the world a better place. And you see that in the work. There's not a, there's not a style, there's not a, um, an affect or a, a, an angle to the work that, that I could say is RIT versus some other educational context, there's just a sincere commitment to making things better, and that's worth seeing. Anywhere you see a mess upstairs, please clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> it might be where you were working earlier, uh, it might be somebody else's mess, but let's all pitch in. So we'd hate to have to do this tomorrow, but if you could take five minutes and just sort of police the area upstairs, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, and thanks to everybody.